Pro Series Tax Program really puts a premium on allowing you to do more work in less time. And one of the great examples of that is our the design of our input system, the data entry. If I pick a particular client here, Kevin and Suzanne Richards, and I'm going to double click, it takes us, the first page it takes us to is the Federal Information Worksheet. And this is simply where you enter name, address, dependent information, uh, this, the residency, uh, the states that you're filing, and so on and so forth. You look on the left hand side of our screen, there are two bars. There's a forms in use, which is a listing of all the current forms and schedules and worksheets in this return as it stands right now, and also below a list of common forms as well. Pro Series is a forms based input system, which means uh, you'll start with Form 1040. So at the t when I'm done entering federal information, there are quick zoom buttons that it would quick zoom and take me directly to the Form 1040 as the starting point for data entry. I scroll down. Let's say I want to enter wages, I go to line 7, I click the field icon, it drops me into a box and asks me to create a new copy of a W-2. I'll put in Intuit as my employer, I'm going to go ahead and fill out the employer EIN. Now I've used this employer EIN on a completely different client and it's added all this employer information to the table so that you can see it gets filled out. I don't have to type these things out uh, over and over. Uh, it saves you some time there. Auto also automatically calculate lines 3 through 6 and 16 and enter wages of let's say fifty thousand dollars. I'll enter a federal withholding of eight thousand and when I'm done and I'd like to go back to the 1040 I can simply click over here and to the left under 1040 and it drops me right back on the main page. Schedule B same thing click on line 8 it drops me into the interest income smart worksheet where you can enter multiple interest and dividend items on one page in this case I'll type in bank uh, and it, and just, it pulls up a list of all the uh, banks or things that I have in there uh, in my table and I'll just select Bank of America and put in $500 of interest. When I'm done I go back to Form 1040 and you'll see that my interest income is updated with $500. So it's again starting point is the form and then drill down into the data. Another example of that would be business income. I've got $25,000 in business income. I want to look at my Schedule C sample business. I open it up and when I scroll down to the expense section um, you'll see I have an entry down here um, for uh, uh, you know line 13 depreciation sec section 179 expense. If I'd like to enter asset information, I simply click line 13, click the field icon, and enter an asset. We'll just call this asset asset. Now it takes me to the asset entry worksheet, and I need essentially four fields here. I need a date, place, and service. Um, the cost maybe it was fifteen thousand dollars, and then the uh, type of an asset which I can pick from a particular list. In this case, I'll pick computer equipment. Now you'll notice down below, depreciation deduction is listed right here on the screen for regular tax. We, all, we automatically calculate AMT as well. And if I'd like, I can click quick zoom here to see a, an asset life history showing me how this asset is being depreciated uh, over these many years, uh, showing the in total until it's completely exhausted. Okay, So that's really how you enter data. You bubble back up to form 1040. You'll notice that my numbers on line 13 are or on line uh, 12 for business income have changed based on those entries. So it's really quite simple to understand. We also have another input style called uh, a worksheet view. It's for folks who don't work primarily off the form, um, but what you're going to see instead of the forms in use over here, if I go to file and I say I'd like to go to the quick entry mode, I'm not so much looking at forms, I'm look just looking at the input screens that I've used. So I can go to wages, interest dividends, business income. So the look is slightly different, um, but again, you can do it this way, or you can simply use the forms mode, uh, which is primarily what most customers using Pro Series use. Another way to really speed up data entry in a number of places, if I go back to the Federal Information Worksheet, um, as soon as I enter date of birth, we will automatically put the age in the, in the age box so that you don't have to do that. Things like zip code databases, if I enter the address, it will take me directly to the zip code field and I type the zip and it puts in the city and state for me automatically. Okay? You also have the capability in Pro Series of transferring K1 data that you've got from, let's say, a partnership or an escort program uh, directly into the K1 screen in Pro Series. And if you have clients with a Schedule C uh, and it's a QuickBooks client, you can import that data directly into Pro Series as well. So there's a lot of real good automation, and I think you'd find this uh, the input style very, very easy to adapt to.